what's going on guys welcome back to the channel now today i'm in dallas well allen texas got a couple of hours to burn before the uh um, leave for my flight want to try to grab some bottles while i'm out here i asked you guys in the comments what's a good liquor store to go to and i got crickets so i have a total wine right by my hotel and i think it's specs i'm not familiar with those so i'm gonna go over there and see what i can get i'm gonna try to record in total wine but i know they're sticklers so we'll see As you just saw, I lost all my footage from this hunt. I don't know what happened to it. Um, came back, thought I had a great successful day hunting, thought I had some great footage to share with you guys. And when it came time to upload, um, to send it off, the file was empty. I don't know what happened. So what I would like to do is just take this time to share my experience in Dallas, Allen, Texas, and really thank the people who I met down there for making it such an enjoyable time. Met some great people, got some great picks. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. So where I stayed, there was a total wine walking distance. So obviously that's my first stop, right? But from total wine, I found a lot of great picks. One of which being another Frey Ranch. Now. If you guys are familiar with Frey Ranch, or if you're not familiar with Frey Ranch, this is one of my all-time favorite bourbons. I can't get it in my local market for some reason. This is a Nevada bourbon. They have a farm, so it's literally from farm to barrel to bottle. They grow their grain specifically for this product. And this is the uh, Total Wine store pick. If you guys haven't seen the last store pick I got, this was the, um, I think this was the uh, Scottsdale, Arizona video I did. This is one of my earlier videos. And once said one of my all-time favorite bottles, I'm happy to have another Frey Ranch in the collection. I was really sad to see that bottle go. This comes in at 121.16 proof. Um, so I really decided to give it a crack and let you guys know how this one stacks up to the original one that I had. If memory serves correct, this should be a killer bottle. So I got this bottle for around $105, uh, $104.99 uh, for the Total Wine store pick. Next bottle that I grabbed from Total Wine was a fun bottle, really. This is Citrus Distillers NASCAR Bourbon Whiskey. And quite frankly, the reason I bought it was because it's something I've never seen before. Not a huge NASCAR fan, but I do like different craft bourbons. From just looking at it, I was like, hey, this is interesting. It caught my attention immediately. Uh, so this is NASCAR 75th anniversary uh, bourbon. This is batch one, bottle 4,178, and it comes in at 88 proof. So I don't know if it's good juice or not. It looks a little light. Like I said, I bought it really more so just to have something different in the collection. So if you've tried this bottle, please drop a comment down below. Let me know how it is. And if you've never seen it, well, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I grabbed a texas product this is steel austin now steel austin has gotten a lot of buzz here in the bourbon community for having some great releases some great products and i've never had a steel austin so when i went there they had a single barrel cast strength it was the very last bottle and so i just i had to grab it right i actually beat <laughs> i beat this other guy who was beelining for it as well so you gotta do what you gotta do you get there quicker um but yeah so this bottle comes in at 116 proof um it's a limited release so i'm excited to give still austin a try but also have a limited release from a texas product right um, so these are the three bottles i picked up while down there um i had a lot of try to do a, a bit of a juggling act as far as time i had uh, family I was trying to see I had I was down there for a work conference so I didn't really have a lot of time to fully explore there was this liquor store called Specs that I tried to um, go to a couple times but liquor stores closed pretty early so by the time I was free I would always either just miss it or by the time I got there it'll be closed so unfortunately I was only able to do a bourbon hunt at Total Wine that was close to the uh, close to the hotel but I did go to a, a bar out there and it was one of the best bars that i've seen as far as pricing goes uh they had things like special uh, weller special reserve they had things like buffalo trace russell's uh single barrel rick house russell's 10 in their eyes they, they charged more for russell's 10 than they did for russell's single barrel rick house crazy. crazy she called it the regular russell's i tried to correct her but 
you've got two times to say, no, this is the right price. I'm not gonna argue for the third time. But then they had some inconsistencies with their pricing. And matter of fact, I'll just show you the footage because I do still have that. I will say that Kelly's has some of the best prices that I've ever seen. Dallas Allen area, come to Kelly's, dude. dude. Dallas Allen area, Kelly's has Buffalo Trace for seven, Wallace Special Reserve for eight. I don't agree with this, but they have Booker's for 22. I don't agree with that. Buttons for 20, I don't agree with that. But they have Igor Rare for 10. And they also have a Russell Single Barrel Rick House for 12. So it's not on this list, but trust me guys, it's legit. They have some of the best prices I've ever seen for a bar. If you're ever in Allen, I would definitely come out this way. The Eagle Rare was, I think Eagle Rare was $10, which, I mean, that's still a little high for Eagle Rare, um, but it's not. I mean, I see Eagle Rare go for $15, $16 everywhere else. I'm, in Minneapolis, I saw it going for $20 a pour. So just a crazy, crazy lineup as far as their bourbon selection went and their pricing. You could have a great time on a budget and enjoy some quality bourbon. This is all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I still don't know what happened to my footage but it was a great time bourbon hunting, uh, meeting people in the bourbon community down in Texas. Um, I will try to be back. Wanted to hit more stores, but I really just couldn't find the time. And I also didn't have a car. Uh, so I was at the mercy of Uber, Lyft. A lot of elements working against me on this trip, but I do plan on coming back to Dallas, um, doing a, a more in-depth bourbon hunt, maybe have my own transportation um, and make it more for pleasure, not for work. But all in all, it was a great trip. I enjoyed myself. I will be back. Like always, drop a comment, drop a sub, drop a like, um, drop a Discord follow, drop a Patreon follow. I don't know. But all the support, is, it does not go unnoticed. So until then, see you guys in the next one. Cheers.